What well, going guys? You're back in at the sports of them. So today's topic will be will Juventus's dominance continue in the Serie A with a seventh scudetto or will Sarri Ball triumph? So hmm let's discuss. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Please drop a like, a share, a subscribe as usual. Your support means a ton. It really helps the channel out a lot. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, with that being said, let's start at the league table. So the top five teams are all close, relatively on points. But I think only Juve and Napoli have a realistic chance of winning the Scudetto this season. So Inter have also started well. I'll just quickly go through the season that all the top five are having so far. Start with Napoli. They've played nine matches so far, scored 26, five against them. They have 25 points, that's 8 wins and a draw. The next in line is Inter Milan. They've played 9 as well, 17 goals for 5 against, 23 points. They have 7 wins and 2 draws. Juve, 9 games as well, 27 goals for, 9 goals against, 22 points. They have 7 wins, a draw and a loss. Uh, Lazio, 9 games played as well. 24 po um, goals for, sorry, 10 goals against, 22 points, same as Juve, that's a win, a draw, and a loss, and then comes following up is Roma, who've played 8, 15 goals for, 5 against, 18 points, but they have that game in hand, so that's the top 5. Yeah, so the only undefeated sides still in this Serie are Napoli and Inter Milan, and they played 20 little draw over the weekend. So, over the past six years, the juggernaut that is Juventus have absolutely steamrolled the competition in the Serie A. They have won the title six years on the bounce, and they've done so in some impressive fashion. In the fact that no team has won it six times on the bounce until Juve is a feat that's amazing in itself. However, it's how they've dominated in that six-year period. I mean, in the 2011-2012 season, they went undefeated. 2013-14, a record points tally they used to win the league 102. So it just shows how unstoppable they've been since that start of that six-year period. And this year, you might say that they haven't started as impressively as previous seasons. However... They've won seven, drawn one, and lost just one already. And something to show just how impressive this Juve team is. They lost Leonardo Bonucci, but still it seemed as if nothing had happened because they're still sound defensively. One such um, example is the match played on the weekend where, down to 10 men, they still beat Udinese six goals to two. I mean, you would think Udinese would equalize and kick on. But they equalized and it's like they upset Juve. Juve just went on a rampage after that. I mean, it seemed like they could play them blind and still win. I, I, I'm literally talking how good Juve is. I mean, from 2 all to 6-2 in the blink of an eye. So, it goes to show just how hard a task any team has of trying to stop them. And if you look at how both teams play, contrasting styles, I mean... But still, they're both impressive in what they do. The Juve is defense first and then they build from there. While Napoli is based on what you would call vertical tiki-taka. That was coined by Le Equipe. That's the French magazine. So that's the name that most people have called it. And from that spurned the name Saribal. So when I say Saribal will triumph, I'm talking if Napoli will beat Juventus this year so Juve is a team to beat granted they've made two Champions League finals in the last three years as well just to show that it's not just domestically that they're doing well but in Europe as well so it was going to take quite a monumental effort from Napoli to pry the title from Juve and when you think about the talents that they have going forward it's frightening as well so even though they're sound defensively they have Dybala, they have Higuain, they have Mandzukic, and those guys are firing. And when those guys are firing, then you understand that it's hard for any defense in Syria to stand up to them. So, I'm 
watching this season with intrigue because of how well Napoli have started. But with that being said, that's Juventus. Let's kick on now and go to Napoli. All right, so let's begin with their coach, Maurizio Sarri. So he is a coach who started in the lower leagues and he perfected his craft there. He got his big break at Empoli and he kept them up against all the odds, which earned him his big move to Napoli. Now, when he moved to Napoli, it was met with lots of criticism, saying he was not the right man for the job, what a downgrade to Benitez, especially from Diego Maradona, who is a Napoli legend himself. So with that being said, Sarri Ball, as it's more affectionately called, or vertical tiki taka, coined by the equipe as I had mentioned, is where you have very technical players and they move the ball at such speed but in going forward. Now we know tiki taka was coined by, by persons for Barcelona style of play, but that got monotonous with the sideways passing, sideways passing, just for recycling position sake. Now, Napoli do recycle position, but it's with the aim of moving forward pretty quickly. So if you see them recycle the ball a few times in the defense, just to keep the ball looking for the space, and at that right time, they just pop the ball forward with one touch pass and boom, 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 and it's in the opposition box or the back of the net. So... I'm a Man United fan, and trust me, if I'm not watching Man United, I make it a point of duty to watch Napoli. They are excellent when they play, and it leads to them being defensively sound as well because they have so much of the ball, but not in a way where it's not progressive. So they're really fun to watch, guys. If you haven't, please check out Napoli. So that's what Sarri Ball is. As I mentioned, Napoli have started the season extremely well. They are unbeaten and they, prior to the match on the weekend, they had won everything. So, if you look at Napoli this season, you can see it's a much stronger unit than last season. Meaning, everybody is together, it's jail and etc. No, the match last, um, I think it was on Sunday or Saturday, I'm not sure. But the match that played on the weekend, Luciano Spalletti, the coach of Roma, he was saying my word these guys are like aliens he was attributing to the way how napoli play as i said they play pretty quickly going through the lines going forward so you have to be pretty on point to stop them when they're unsung the match on the weekend was only kept goalless due to samir handanovic the serbian goalkeeper in inter milan's goal he made save after save after save with one of them being a superb double save. Merton should have scored, I think, but hey, you have to give the goalkeeper props. Right, so, when you also look at their front three, that's who I want to focus on per se. Most times you have Insignia on the left, Merton's going through the center, and then you have either Callahan or someone else on the right. So, that front three is used to devastating effect where Insignia is used to float more where he has license to come inside more that allows the fullbacks to push up such as Golam who is a left back who is also technically very good you have on the right side Callahan who is more of a traditional winger in the sense where he, do, he hugs the touchline more so that allows who is playing on the right who is Albiol to kind of offer more defensive on that side so they do attack more from the left based on the fact that Insigne is their creative spark but also in midfield now you would have Hamsik and you also have Jorginho who are superb in the engine room cycling position trading through passes Jorginho more so is defensive mind so he screens the back four he starts the attack while Hamsik is the driving force forward no I'm talking about their spine and if you watch them play, you'll see that everybody on that field can pass, can move. Can, they, 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 they're so fluid. They call it liquid football. That's how good they are going forward. But also defensively, they are good. So they've started the season pretty well. They played against Man City also in the Champions League. And they started poorly in the first half. But in the second half... It was all out, guns blazing. I mean, Pep even said, boy, they're one of the best sides he's ever faced. The hard, one of the hardest sides. That's how much they pressured City in the second half. They lost 2-1, but 
it's it's been said that they can see that they're trying to prioritize the league title more because they've come close in the last couple of seasons i mean second and third um in the seasons prior so they're trying to do that so i am a big fan of napoli i do hope they win i have nothing against juve but i really do enjoy watching them play i'll drop some clips as well of some sorry ball so you guys can see it so another point of their playing style is the way that they press when they don't have the ball so we know that this pressing has been done over the years i mean from the 60s to but more recently being the barca team that played the tiki taka style to jurgen Klopp's borussia dortmund to liverpool now and to uh you say even man city and huddersfield to name one out of left field as david wagner he's a protege of jurgen Klopp. he used that type of pressing to win promotion to the premier league so napoli employed that super pressing style where they try to hone you and get the ball as quickly as possible as well that compounded by their relentless passing forward of their vertical tiki taka style sorry ball is really a sight to behold so as i said guys this is a discussion that's my thoughts on the race in the syria please tell me what you guys think i mean drop your comments if you want to message me asking me about something so we can discuss it further please go ahead i want to know what you guys think will you ever win or will sorry ball tramp i don't know if you guys are fans of the syria are at all but it would be good to just give it a look because i'm telling you you will enjoy napoli play and juve as well don't get me wrong so just please let me know your thoughts guys thanks for tuning in as i said like share subscribe please let's get the channel going it really helps a lot thanks again peace so just check out those clips